Hello, welcome back to Roulette Profit and Stop here on YouTube. Don't forget to check out my website, which is rouletteprofitandstop.co.uk for further information about any roulette tools my brother and myself have developed. Um, also, if you're not already subscribed, uh, quite a lot of viewers are not subscribed. So if you can click the subscribe button, that'll be greatly appreciated. It will just help support my channel and other people tend to subscribe when someone else does because uh, my, my, my subscription rate is growing. And um, I'm nearly at 500 subscribers, which is fantastic. Um, you know, in the short period of time that I've come back on with this channel, it's uh, been it's been great. So don't forget to drop a, a like as well if you like the content. That would be another great way of supporting my channel. On this setup, I'm going to continue from where I left off. I started with £10. I've got to 23.20. And I'm looking to make £2 on top of that. Small target is the way to go. I'm using the missing section roulette tool. This missing section roulette tool tracks how many spins you want to track for a, an outside bet, a dozen, a row, or a, an actual individual number. Uh, well, it basically, it shows you how many spins has passed, what's not hitting, and what is hitting. So click to play. This is my tracking value in the lower left corner here, just above the exit button on the tool which is currently set to a value of 6, which is the default setting. You can drop that down to 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, or increase it greater than 6. Um, but it's up to you what you go to <clears throat> Excuse me, on those numbers. 6 is my preferred starting bet. And you'll see me tweak this, drop it down, and increase it as I'm playing, depending on what the table's doing, because that's what we're looking at. The table's dictating what's happening, and then we're placing bets on based on what is happening from the history. So... 22, 22, 28, 26, 13. So when I get to a value of 6, like the top row is now at a value of 6, it's not hit that top row for 6 spins in a row. My tracking value is set to 6. If I drop that down to uh, 5, the first dozen will highlight, and we'll get an intersection bet on 3, 6, 9, 12. Watch this. There you go. The four numbers, 3, 6, 9, 12, are covered by the first dozen, because that's now my tracking value of 5, and also the top top row is still not hit for six so let's go back up to six with that number 10 number zero 25 14 so it's not hit for 10 spins now on that top row 11 spins usually it hits around the 11th but on um recently someone one of my subscribers uploaded a video uh roulette reality um Check out his channel, or Reality Roulette, one or the other. I can never get, get it the, way, the right way around, but I, I follow him anyway. I'm subscribed to his channel. He's in the um, recommended channels on my YouTube. Make sure you check him out, Reality Roulette. And he was playing um, on one on this table, I think he was, and it missed, or on a different table, and it missed for 30-something um, spins in a row, and a dozen. So it can go quite high. I missed an opportunity there to place a bet on that top row. Doesn't matter. So I've talked about opportunities missed on the previous upload. It doesn't matter that I missed an opportunity. You know, you shouldn't beat yourself up about it, which I have done in the past. Because um, you'll get plenty more opportunities. They'll come all the time, you know. You'll get them all the time. And if you miss an opportunity that you could have won a bet on, fair enough. You know, just let it just let it, let it, go, basically. Don't, don't be um, too focused on trying to hit all the time. Right, so... I'm on 20 pence stake on the 1 to 9 here. So I'm on the section. I'm going, to do, I'm going to do 30 pence, actually. So I'm on 1 to 9. This is a section number. These section numbers highlight not at this tracking value of 6, but highlight on their own individual numbers, which I've predetermined, which are 14, 15, and then 22 onwards. They seem to be the prime prime values to catch these section numbers 14 15 and 22 onwards so one through to nine the best bet here is the four five and six five there you go that's a jackpot number four five six fantastic just made a few units there so that's 26 20 let me update my balance just made on that bet three quid let's set another one up Se second dozen there we go Jumped straight onto that second dozen. Even I was rushing then to get on that because it was highlighted. 
I could have waited and missed that spin and that opportunity, which would have been fine, which is what I've just been talking about. I could have stopped there and not bothered about placing the bet on the second dozen, let this spin spin out, and then place the bet on the next spin if it doesn't hit. See, that wouldn't have hit anyway. So I rushed into that, trying to get that, that bet on, and it lost. It would have been advisable just to carry on playing without the bet being out there. Let it come in if it wants to come in because it's going to give me more opportunities down the pipeline anyway. So My immediate target is £2 profit. This will give me £1.50 of that £2 on this second bet on the second dozen. 13 to 24. 15 is good. That's £1.50 profit. So I need to make a further 50 pence to get um, a minimum of £2 profit. Now, <clears throat> 50 pence stake, if you stick at 50 pence stake and no greater than that throughout this process, and you can even go less than that on this table, 20 pence or 10 pence or 10 cents, 20 cents, 50 cents, <clears throat> you'll have more opportunities to place bets to try and get your target rather than going for it and putting like five pounds on a dozen or a row you know which you probably would have seen me do in the past but um not advisable not advisable so we've got the third dozen and the the low numbers missing so i'm just going to do the third dozen in fact you know what because i only need 50 pence i'm going to do the high numbers 19 to 36 it's a 50 pence bet just to win 50 pence to get me to two pounds profit so i can secure another target so i've actually opted out from betting on just the 12 numbers and increased it to the 18 numbers so 19 to 36 is the bet it might hit 26 which would have been a, a better return on that third dozen might be 26 or around that region i think Yep, 32, there you go. Boom. So I'm at 28, 20. Two pound, that's my target. So what I'm doing is I'm setting small targets for myself on purpose to just to try and achieve those to build my balance. And while I'm doing this, I'm keeping an eye on what's happening on the table. And by doing this, this is giving me small amounts of information that I can process easily to work out you know what this table's not playing so once it gets to the position where the table's not playing um i'll be able to spot that sooner um, and i won't ignore it so that's what um these breakdowns of targets will do for you basically Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give it a thumbs up if you're enjoying the content. Again, that would be a great way of supporting my channel. My channel is growing, which is fantastic to see. I love it. Um, so you can help by supporting my channel by clicking the subscribe if you've not already done that. And give it a thumbs up. Thanks very much. So we've got a section number 20 to 29. I'll do 30 pence on this. Uh, 30 pence. So I cover the 19 and the 30. So 19 to 30 is the bet. I'm looking to make £2 profit on my 28.20 to get to 30.20. And then I'll update the balance again. And we'll set another £2 target. So 20, I'm, on tw I'm on 19 to 30, but the section number is 20 to 29. So I've done a number outside of the 19 and the 29. 
29, there you go. That's a hit. Boom. Thank you very much. Um, top roll's not hit, so we jump on that. Boom. Top roll. That's the next bet. But you probably can't see that, can you? Put it over here. That might be a better position, so you can see my, my bet on the, on the rolls. Okay, so top roll to hit. This will get me to my next target. 29. It's a repeater. Repeat the same bet and add a chip. Second bet on this top roll. If this hits it, I get £1.50 return off this bet if it hits. This is now the third the third bet, and I've also spotted five blacks in a row because it's showing five reds haven't hit. So I could do the zero neighbours, which is probably going to be my, my final bet. If this misses zero neighbours and I get a hit on the top row, I'm going to be good here. Top row hit. 23, that's a miss. I'm going to switch my bet to zero neighbours here. So I'm going to do four pockets either side of zero. I'm going to do a 30 pence bet per number. So I've done four pockets out of the side of the zero because of the five blacks in a row. I know it went to 23 after, but this is likely to hit zero neighbours now, which will boost my balance. It's 12 through to four. Zero neighbours, 12 through to four, and two pockets away from a hit. Number seven, still not hit that top row. We're going to repeat the same bet at 30 pence per number on the zero neighbours, that's 4 through to 12, and down at £21, I am going to continue with this same bet of zero neighbours. I can do this for three spins on a flat rate and get into profit if I hit, and my fourth bet will be a double up if I miss, and that'll be my final bet for zero neighbours. Still not hit on the top row either, so three would be good, three, 12, 15, they're all good numbers to hit on now. Thirty-five. There you go. It hit, and we've still not hit on the top row even numbers. That's going to update my balance. Thirty-one eighty. You didn't see it land, unfortunately. So I'm going to do the top row even numbers if I can get my bets out there fast enough. I can't do so. I'm not going to do that bet. My bet here would have been six, twelve, eighteen, twenty-four, thirty, thirty-six because of the even numbers and the top row combo. Now I'm just going to jump on the top row. Looking to set a balance to another £2 profit to 33 <coughs> So I'm slowly building my balance. This is what you're seeing me do. 14 minutes in. Any top row number is good. 16 is not a top, but 33 might land next, which is what I'm expecting to see. Repeat the bet, add a chip. This will give me a £1.50 profit on this bet. Four pound, uh, three pounds return gets me to 33.30. So I'll be, I'll be 50 pence off my target of £2 profit on that 31.80. And I would expect this now to uh, pop in top row number. Maybe 33, I'm saying, I'm thinking, potentially. Neighbour is 16. 
No, it's number seven, which is a miss. This is now my third bet. One pound fifty for four fifty return. For the top roll, top rolls only had a nine percent strike rate, so nine percent of those numbers have hit in that twelve, and it's not hit for fourteen spins in a row since it last hit a number, which was number fifteen. Fifteen was the last number that hit, and that's fourteen spins has passed since it hit another number in that top roll. But it's not hit another number in that top row for 14 spins in a row. So, but these these can go missing for quite a while. This is my third bet. Top row. Three. Nine's good. There you go. There's my hit. Boom. Sweet. Gets me to 33.30. I want to get to 33.80. So I'm 50 pence shy of my target. And a minute. <clears throat> on my target of £2 profit on my 31.80 start. So I'm making my targets really achievable. This dealer doesn't look that well, I don't think. The way she's moving. Grimacing with the face. She doesn't look on it, I don't think. <clears throat> Let's see where 9 takes us. Neighbour of 9 or 10? 34, okay. I'll stop guessing and just... The bet's dropping in, so let's go. So this is the missing section roulette tool, missing section roulette tool. You can find more information on my website, which is rouletteprofitandstop.co.uk. Make sure you check that out when you get time. Thank you very much. Also, don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Again, great ways of supporting my channel. Thanks very much. One's a good number. I'm going to do my combo numbers. Oh, should I? No, I'm going to hang on. My combo bet. Oh, we've got reds. We've got five reds. Five blacks. Five reds, five blacks. So we're going to do ten pence on zero neighbours. Right, so I've, on the tool, it says I've five blacks in a row. I've not hit. So that's my trigger to place zero neighbours. So any, whenever I see five reds or five blacks, the last five numbers are the same colour. I cover zero neighbours, 4 through to 12, 12 through to 4, 12, 35, 3, 26, 0, 32, 15, 19, and 4. That's my first loss, 24. Boom. We've got the middle row as well. I'm going to bet on that as well. So I'm going to repeat the bet. Then I'm going to put 50 pence on that middle row. <clears throat> so if it hits a middle row number, one of those three, 26, 32, 35, that's the best outcome. That'll get to my target. And doing the zero neighbours because of the five reds in the history typically brings in uh, zero neighbours quite often. 24 might go to 15, which will be a hit, uh, but I prefer it to go to 32, which will be hit on both bets. I'm on the middle row and I'm on zero neighbours. Oh, that was a dodgy spin. Repeat the bet. Add a chip. This is my third bet. For zero neighbours and my second bet for um middle roll if the middle roll hits i get three pounds return so i make one pound fifty on that bet but i've caught co it's cost me um two pounds seventy for the zero neighbour bet at the minute the zero neighbour bet if that hits that will give me um 90 pence profit in fact i get to my target of my target if i hit on this spin anyway on anything that will get me to my target. So, zero neighbour or middle roll. There you go. That's good. 19's hit. Oh, thank you. That's a zero neighbour. Boom. So, that's a win for there. 32.70. I'm actually 10 pence shy of my target. Oh, no, I'm not. I need to get to 33, don't I? So, this is now my third bet for the middle roll. Third bet for the middle roll. I thought I was on 20 pence stake. I was on 10 pence on the dozen. Uh, on the um, zero neighbours. No, I didn't. I just miscalculated it. That's what I did. So if I hit on this bet, this is my third bet for the middle roll. This is going to get me to my target, over my target. I'm going to get to 33.80. Zero neighbor. Oh, not zero neighbors. One. Ten's good. No, it's not. 23 would have been. And five. Mm. Ten. Repeat the bet. Add a chip. Okay, we've got a dealer change. Now, if, the, if this last spin from this dealer is not four through to 12, then the bet will be zero neighbours again, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to make that my final bet. 
I want to try and hit on this middle roll on my fourth bet, which is what this is now. Okay, so the last spin of that previous dealer was 10, which is nowhere near the Z1 neighbours. So we're going to jump back on Z1 neighbours. Hopefully once I've hit on this um, middle roll. So middle roll number to hit, then Z1 neighbours is the bet. It's hit <laughs> Z1 neighbours and the middle roll anyway. 26. Um, do you know what? I'm going to call it there. I know the change of dealer, I would look to bet on Zero Neighbours. 26 has just landed on this new dealer anyway, so it's pointless me carrying on and I've made a decent amount of return of profit there. So now I've got a balance of uh, 35.20, starting with £10 this morning. I've made £25.20. More than happy to take that from this casino. I use the Missing Section Roulette tool. You can find out more information from my website, which is rouletteprofitandstop.co.uk for further information. Also, don't forget to click the subscribe button and give it a thumbs up. Thanks again for your time and your patience. I'll be back again later today to record some more footage. Build the balance further. See you soon.